Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to quickly go through some of the um, photos that I took yesterday. Um, this was the uh, on location long exposure video that I uploaded earlier. Uh, so I just want to go through uh, some of the photos that I showed in the video and I'll show you um, how uh, I edited them and also what they look like um, before I edited them. Edited them even, can't talk. Okay, so here's the first one that I put up on the video. Uh, so, uh, it's not the best photo in the world, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, I had to get this water kind of all smoothed out. It's not really the best location for it because there wasn't a huge amount of water there. Uh, and it was only going in one direction. So, um, really these long exposure photos work better with like a, a tide coming in and out. Or a water, like a proper big waterfall. Anyway, let's uh, reset it back to... Uh, how it was. Uh, so this is how it was straight out of the camera. Uh, if we just move the presets out of the way. Uh, you can see down here on the history um, I actually didn't do a great deal to it. Um, I just did my sort of usual normal editing process that I usually do. Um, so I'll just uh, go through it again and uh, show you what I did. So if we look down here it says contrast uh, plus 29. So I put the contrast up to 29, uh, the exposure I put up a little to 48, just to brighten it up a bit. And I put some clarity as well, which I usually do, 29. I lowered the highlights down to 57, or thereabouts. Um, on this one I actually played around with the tone curve as well. Uh, I don't do that all that often, but um, I just wanted to play around with it on this image. Uh, so I put the light tones up 11, roughly. Uh, the shadow tones down uh, to 43. And the highlight tones I took down a tiny bit, doesn't really make that much difference. Uh, that was pretty much it. The, all else I did was um, a slight crop and uh, a bit of sharpening. Didn't really need to crop it to be honest. I just sort of straightened it up a little bit but it looks fine as it is. Um, so yeah, I just... Uh, I don't... Scientifically sharpening isn't my thing. I just do it till it looks good. Um, if you can press the Alt key and move the uh, masking slider you can see which bits will actually be sharpened and then you just add it by eye just so it looks sharp and uh, I don't really need any uh, noise reduction because I'm at ISO 200 anyway as you can see on the screen it all looks nice and sharp uh, it's not massively sharp at the back I was only at uh, F8 uh, so I wasn't expecting it to be all the bits down here in the front are nice and sharp. Uh, this exposure was 30 seconds. So yeah, there you go. That's um, That didn't take long at all. Probably took me about 30 seconds to edit it and 30 seconds to take it. So that's pretty good, really. Reset it back. My computer's gone really slow again. So that's out of camera. That's a quick edit. I could play around with it more, I could sort of change the saturation and all that sort of thing. Um, but I'm happy with that as it is. So I'll go back to the library and have a look at one of the other ones. Uh, this is one where I went in a little bit closer. Uh, this is much longer shutter speed. Uh, this is 119 seconds, which is about 2 minutes, thereabouts. Um, you'll see on the video that I took this one, I was happy with this one, uh, straight out of the camera. Um, but again, we'll press reset you can see it's not bad at all at the camera it just needs a bit of um, jizzing up jazzing up not jizzing up don't want to jizz it up um, so uh, I'm going to sneeze so we'll just go through it again contrast usual I've got my sort of the way that I always do it I do everything the same usually uh, I always start at the top and work my way down and then sort of revisit everything again 
So contrast up, highlights down, uh, exposure up slightly. This one I even played around with the vibrance as well, just to give it a bit more of a bit more vibrance. And when I put the vibrance up, I usually drop the saturation just a tiny bit. It just sort of it's not too overpowering. That vibrant slider can be a bit overpowering otherwise. Ooh, I missed the clarity. Yeah, it's about 40. Again, I played around with the uh, tone curve as well. Quite often I'll just use the preset strong or medium contrast. Um, but with these ones I wanted to just sort of play around with this and uh, see what I got. So you went up a bit with the lights. Down a bit with the darks, up a bit with the shadows, and that was pretty much it. Bar sharpening again, I just sharpen by eye. I know roughly where I want it. On this one, I actually did do some uh, noise reduction, but I don't need to really. It's not noisy, so there's no point. Again, it's nice and sharp. Yeah, I'm happy that I could do some dodging and burning on the rocks. Um, just to sort of make them... Sometimes I think this help kind of draw your eye into certain bits of the image. Um, but it's not really that necessary on this. Just makes it look a bit more polished, I suppose. Yeah, so as you can see, it really doesn't take long at all to edit these. I don't spend hours at a computer editing photos. I'd rather be out taking them. So again, from that to that in a couple of seconds, really. If I wasn't talking through it, it wouldn't take me very long at all to do that. Okay, so on to some of the other ones. This is the one that I took that I said was a bit overexposed. If you go back and watch the uh, video it's not that bad it's just a bit of well, the highlights in the water is a little bit over and the background's a bit bright I just wasn't completely happy with this um, but again I'll just go through it anyway so a reset you can see uh, on the reset this one's actually quite a bit different I cropped it quite a lot so I've got this shadow down here on the, on the tripod uh, I couldn't see it through the viewfinder obviously when I had the filter in and um, I couldn't really see it on the screen either so we'll just go through this one uh, first thing I did was the highlights I brought down because I knew that was the biggest issue with this photo anyway uh, I also went straight to the highlight tones uh, this time down here on the tone curve and brought that right down to try and get rid of uh, some of these highlights as you can see that makes the image go a little bit weird um, so then I played around with the light tones. Basically I was just desperately trying to get this image back to some sort of sense of decentness. Um, but it didn't ever really happen. I put the shadows up a bit. And then I went back up to clarity. And contrast. I put the exposure up a bit. Um, what I actually did with this one, you can see I went to a preset. Um, I've got some presets saved here. I've got this one called Winter. And you can see what that did. It made it look awful. Um, so then after I did that preset, I started again on the uh, editing, really. Um, I went back into the highlights and got rid of all those highlights and I went into this this white slider I dragged that right down and I went back into the exposure and brought the exposure right down as you can see I'm just trying to polish a turd here it's, it's not a very good photo so there's not really much point um, Bugging around with it to be honest. 
that's about as good as it's going to be. It's not too bad. This side's quite nice. I quite like that. And I quite like this rock down here. Um, but the rest of it I don't really like. So I'm just going to skip on that one. Uh, this was the next one that I took. Uh, this was the last one I took in the video. Because after this one I dropped my uh, my audio recorder into the water. Which I've actually got working again. I'm recording on it now. Which I'm really pleased with. It was in the water for about 10 seconds before I pulled it out. So uh, well done Zoom for making your audio recorders waterproof, even though they're not. Okay, so we'll reset this one. As you can see, it's quite flat, quite bland. But again, you can see in history, I didn't really do a great deal. Uh, this one went straight into clarity and put the clarity up. And then I went to... Uh, I just use the preset on this one, strong contrast. I just did the crop slightly because you can see the the trees, the reflection of the trees were a bit wonky. So I just wanted to kind of straighten that out a little. It doesn't really make that much difference as a reflection, so it doesn't matter. Um, contrast, a little bit of contrast. and drop the highlights a bit to try and get rid of some of this reflection I actually didn't use a circular polarizer on any of these shots um, but I've been very lucky actually because the water still looks see-through if I had the polarizer some of these um, reflections up here might have been uh, banished but it's not too bad as it is actually I was quite lucky with the light there um, vibrance I added a bit of vibrance 26 And that was pretty much it. The rest was just sharpening again. And I also added some noise reduction again for some reason. It doesn't need it. Uh, this was 40 second exposure. Again, ISO 200. Uh, so yeah, that looks quite good. Just reset it back again just to show you. So from that to that. Again, it's not the best photo in the world. Um, but it just shows you... Um, how quick I edit my photos. Oops. On the end of the video there's a couple more photos that I took after I dunked my um my zoom recorder. There's that one. And the very last one um was at a completely different location. Uh, if I can find it this one here. This was down at Seven Beach. I actually did quite a lot of work on this one as you can see on the history loads and loads and loads of work this is what it looked like beforehand um, you see down here there's a big flare I've noticed with this um, high-tech filter if you're anywhere near the Sun you get masses amounts of flare this one's quite good actually there's only a tiny bit there but on other images I've got a massive strip all the way across uh, I noticed that the felt uh, backing on the filter doesn't go all the way around uh, the edge of the filter holder so there's actually some light leaking going on so I'm going to have to get in contact with the manufacturer and try and get them to send me some more foam uh, to put on the filter on the back to try and cover up and sort of make it uh, light proof in the back. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this because it took me ages but I'll just quickly, uh, just quickly do it just to show you what I'd usually do so I'd usually whack the contrast up Bring the highlights down a bit, boost the shadows a bit, go up the clarity, up with the vibrance, strong contrast, sometimes medium contrast. Um, the reason why I went black and white with this one in the end is because of this big flare. Um, I can't do anything about it in colour. It's even if I went into saturation and tried to bring the saturation down, it sort of gets rid of it, but it's still a bit noticeable. And also, you'll see um, diagonally across here. It's a bit darker, so that's why I had the uh, the uh, ND graduated filter on. Now I probably could salvage a colour shot out of this, but I thought it'd make a good black and white. Um, I've got a few black and white. Um, presets in here 
That one's a bit bright, really. I did loads and loads of dodging and burning with this photo. Yeah, I lightened up all the pier thing, or the jetty. I darkened all the shadows. Um, did a little bit of dodging and burning on the mud down here, just to sort of, just to bring it out a bit, really. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go through that one because it's going to take ages. Just show you what I mean about the flare. Um, all this down here was my hand trying to cover up uh, the light leak source because the sun was up in this corner. And you see, you got all that flare back there. This one was really bad, massive amounts of flare going on. Same with this one. And that one's just overexposed. That one's not too bad, I don't know why. That one's like that. Oh, that's because I took the filter off when I was testing it. So yeah, that, that 10 stop ND filter does do all sorts of weird and wonderful things uh, when the sun's near you. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, I think that's probably about it. Um, I don't want to edit any more of these yet. I uh, might do another separate, sort of longer video, detailed video on one of these. Um, but for now, that'll do. Um, hope that was of some help, just to show that I don't spend ages editing and uh, just show you how I got from the original photos to the ones I put on the video. Alright guys, cheers very much.